Hello my fellow weirdos, my name is Marina Williams and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be giving you a TBR to be read for the next few months, February, March, April time. I'm going to let you guys know what I'm going to be reading and hopefully maybe you'll want to read along with me. Hey guys, as I said for today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about my upcoming reads, all the wonderful books that I hope to read in the next month or two. First of all, my very first read of February, which is part of my gothic horror read-along, is of course the classic Dracula by Bram Stoker. Everybody knows this tale and has seen at least one adaptation. It is about this poor young solicitor, Jonathan Harper, <laughs> Um, who um, leaves his beautiful fiancée Mina and her best friend Lucy to go and help with uh, legal matters by buying a property from a Count Dracula in Eastern Europe and there he finds out that Dracula is not human and falls prey to him and his brides and is desperate to try to get back. Dracula then follows him to London and there are repercussions for both Mina and Lucy, her best friend and Jonathan. And uh, there we meet Van Helsing, who helps him, all the wonderful characters that we all know and love. This, this is a classic for a reason. So I have started a gothic horror read along. There's a video about it, I'll link it above. Head to my Instagram, which link is down below, if you want to check out what we're doing. But every month we are reading a, a gothic horror classic, the books that started it all. And we are starting with one of the best, one of the most famous, and that is Dracula. I am already about a third of the way through can't wait. I just love, this is one of those books that you can reread over and over and over again. It has been years since I read it and I feel like I'm almost reading it again for the first time. There's all these moments where I'm like, oh yeah, because I completely forgot about all these little nuances that happen in the book. Yeah, I can't wait to finish it. So that's the first one up for this year. I've also got a couple of pre-orders in my uh, Amazon basket, which will be coming in uh, the next month or so. So the first up when is this out? This is out the 18th of February. It's called Miss Creations and it is about gods, monstrosities and other stories. That's the amazing front cover. It's got people like Josh Mallerman, Theodora Ghost, Victor Lavelle, Nadia Bulkin and Lisa Morton. It is a collection of short stories inspired by the creation of monsters, whether that be literal monsters, figurative monsters, creating monsters out of ourselves. This is a selection of short stories and I love me a short story collection. Horror I think is just perfect for short stories because it just, it just, you can go in so many directions and have it hang and just stop and it makes the story almost better that you don't go on and completely conclude it. So yeah, I'm excited to read that. Uh, I also have, this one is out the 11th I believe, yes the 11th of February and it is called The Boatman da Boatman's Daughter by Andy Davidson. That's the cover there. Again, look at that. This, I'm gonna actually just read the blurb to you guys because this is one of those ones where it just sounds like it's so weird in all the right ways. Um, Ever since her father was killed when she was just a child, Miranda Crabtree has kept her head down and her eyes up, ferrying contraband for a mad preacher and his declining band of followers to make ends meet and to protect an old witch and a secret child from harm. But dark for forces are at work in the bayou, both human and supernatural, conspiring to disrupt the rhythms of Miranda's peculiar and precarious life. And when the preacher makes an unthinkable demand, it sets Miranda on a desperate, dangerous path, forcing her to consider what she is willing to sacrifice to keep her loved ones safe. I mean, there's just all so much going on there. They compare it to Neil Gaiman in this sort of mythy, mythical fairy taleness of it but um obviously this is a horror so I'm very very excited by that this was another amazing recommendation from Mother Horror I'll link her down below guys check her out she is great for horror recommendations she knows her stuff professional horror reviewer and she loved this so I'm very excited to read that unfortunately with both of those books one of them isn't available in physical form in the UK to pre-order and the other one is like super expensive so I've had to order them both on Kindle hence why I'm showing you the pictures on my phone. Um, I would love to have enough money to spend 60, 70, 80, 100, 100, 200 pound a month on books, but I really, really don't. So I've had to go for the cheaper option, which is the Kindle option. I don't mind reading Kindle. I do it often, but I do prefer a physical book. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Okay, another one that I just wanna read because I've wanted to read it for ages is The Hunger by Alma Katsu. Um, this is basically taking a real historical event, which was the George Donner party. Very, very went badly. 
um, expedition into the, I think it's, where is it, the, can't remember what particular path it is, but it's up into the mountains. There's the Donner Party right there at the start of the book. Um, so this is, a, this is an actual expedition that took place and did not end well for the parties involved. And this takes that real historical event and turns it and kind of makes a play with a supernatural element to it. So what if these guys weren't just dealing with the elements and, you know, each other and all the potential risks, hunger and all that sort of stuff? What if there was something stalking them? I really, really want to read this. I have heard nothing but good things about this writer and about this book. So, yeah, that is on my list just because I need to. Speaking of Almakatsu, we have The Deep. This is out in March and is another one that is definitely high up on my TBR. In fact, I'll probably maybe get around to this one before I get around to The Hunger. This is taking another tragic event in real life, The Titanic, very well known. And again, taking a kind of occult, supernatural, paranormal spin on it. So we basically follow a girl called Annie who was on board the Titanic. We all know what happened guys, but what if that isn't really what happened? What if there was something more sinister going on? There are lots of disappearances happening on the boat long before they strike the iceberg. Now she is working, Annie, four years on, on the sister ship to the Titanic, the Britannic, which is now a hospital ship. And she's about to realize that the demons of her past aren't done with her. I love this. It says it's bringing together the occults, tales of sirens and selkies with a theme of guilt, revenge, desire and destiny. Sold! I, uh, being from Belfast, we know a lot about the Titanic, guys. We were the ones that built it. We have a whole museum dedicated to it. You can visit the very site where it was manufactured and launched for that disastrous maiden voyage. Yes, it sank, but we have a saying here. It was fine when it left us. We built it. It was great. We are not the ones who drove it into an iceberg and who took all of the lifeboats off that we put on it all deck. <laughs> so not our fault. We built a good boat. We're not the ones who drove it into the iceberg. But anyway, it is something that is very present in Northern Ireland. It is something that every child here is aware of. It is a big, giant part of our history. The shipbuilding industry was huge back in the day. It basically is what made Belfast a strategic and important part of Ireland and Britain, the harbour and where every, all those boats were made. It was very vital to our economy, to our history, to the whole trajectory of Northern Ireland. So Titanic being the most famous of those boats is a big thing. So I really like the idea of this book taking something so familiar to me and twisting it and warping it and making it into something horror, which let's all face it, we know I love me some horror. I love me some spooky tales. So very excited by that. That's another one on my pre-order list. Last up, as I said, I'm doing a gothic horror read along. So every month we're doing a new classic horror gothic book that has basically, it's the books that sort of started it all. The ones that kind of led to horror as it is today. We wouldn't be here without those books to kind of set the foundation. These are the, these are the classics and they're classics for a reason. Most of them are rereads for me. There's a couple in there that I haven't read that I'm looking forward to getting around to. This one is going to be a reread. Um, so as I said, we start in February with Dracula and in March we have Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Everybody knows this classic as well. A foolish doctor by the name of Dr. Frankenstein decides to play God and animate a corpse. And we all know that that doesn't go well for him or his loved ones. This is a great book and I'm so excited to read it. I'm particularly excited to read this edition. I had to show you guys this particular edition. This was sent to me by Ethereal Publishing and they are a company that takes classic books that we all know and love and creates these gorgeous limited editions. So I just wanted to show you guys that. I mean, look at the illustrations in it. Ah! It is a guy called Matt, Matt Hughes. And that man is an incredibly talented artist. So I actually have, they sent me this version and they sent me the Edgar Allan Poe version. And um, yeah, I just had to show it off because I'm not getting any commission or anything from sales of this. I just wanted to let you know that if you wanted to buy a particularly beautiful edition, I really recommend this company. And I recommend this one because it's just gorgeous. It's lovely. So that's the one I'm going to be reading. It's nice. I think that people don't appreciate it unless they are bookworms. I actually saw this. This is a side note. I'm going on a tangent here. Um, <laughs> one of my fellow bookstagrams recently put up a picture and she had multiple copies of one of her favourite books which is Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief I believe and somebody came on and commented and was like what's the point in having like five editions of the same book that's ridiculous why would you do that what a waste of money and um, I had to go on and defend my friend because 
nobody gets this maybe but bookworms but there is if you love a book and you love the inside there's nothing better than finding a beautiful edition of it outside and collecting those multiple editions. Yes, you've already got the book, but you don't have that particular version of the book. And it's so pretty. I mean, these are works of art, guys. I mean, there are so many gorgeous editions out there. Am I wrong? Back me up. Let me know down below. <laughs> Sorry, tangent there. Anyway, so that's it. That's kind of the reads that I've got on my radar for the next four to six weeks. I'm very excited to talk into them and I will of course be letting you guys know what I thought of each of every one of them in my wrap-ups and perhaps individual review videos. Is there anything you've got coming up you think that I would like? Let me know in the comments down below. I love getting horror recommendations. I wouldn't read half of what I read if I didn't have it sort of mentioned or recommended to me by somebody else because that's the best way to find out if you're going to like something word of mouth. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below or any of the books that I've included on your TBR. Let me know and just connect with me guys. Subscribe, hit the bell button, like my videos, leave me comments, connect, let's be friends, let's talk horror. But that's me for now. Bye.